my camera in a cup holder. There we go. Today, I wanna to try to make my own diffusion filter. I've seen guys online on YouTube making these diffusion filters out of normal protectors. So this is just a cheap UV protector I had lying around, and I'm gonna to try to make my own. They use hairspray, so anyways, we're at Walmart. I'm actually picking up my groceries. We do Walmart pick up groceries. Then I'm gonna go get some hairspray from Walmart and a couple other things that my wife just texted me. Taco seasoning, nacho chips, and salsa. Oh, and sandwich bags. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, I think my groceries are actually here. They even put it in your car and everything. All right, let's go. Ah, I forgot my ND filter. So unfortunately, just bear with me. Everything's gonna be clipped, so. Right. Excuse me, yep. you know where a hairspray is? Yep. Perfect. Excellent, thank you so much. What happened to the eggs? I guess that's all I got. Cooking nacho salad. Da. da. Can you say da da? Da. And here's your final result. No, I wasn't doing for that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There we go, that should be a lot better for you guys. Just getting the lapel here. All right, so what you wanna do here is get your filter and your hairspray out. I'm doing it outside in the garage here so I don't get my hairspray all over the place. We are making a diffusion filter. Now, if you don't know what a diffusion filter is, it, I already have one on here. This is the Cinebloom filter, diffusion filter. I love this little thing, I bought this, but I can't remember how much this was. I think I paid $60, $70, or something like that. But this one here, I think I've already had. I might have paid $11. Hairspray was about $2. So I want to compare what this Cinebloom filter looks like compared to what I can do with some hairspray at home. See if it's worth it, see if it's not, and see the differences. So I'm gonna put this Cinebloom filter on here back on. There we go. Now, if you don't already know what a diffusion filter is, I have made a video on the Cinebloom filter, kind of reviewing it, what diffusion filters are, how you can use them. Go ahead and check it out here if you don't know what that is. So let's get started on making this. So I'm gonna grab my hairspray. And what I've seen people do is basically, they spray it and then they catch it. Hmm, interesting, okay. So one thing I'm noticing here is that the dots are definitely bigger than the dots on the Cinnabon filter. Hold up, wife's calling. Hello? So let me see, if I scratch them, I wonder what's gonna happen. Okay, so as soon as I added water, they did come off with a good rag. So let's try that again. And I think I'm actually gonna do them in the inside. I think if they're in the inside and then they're on your lens, I would think they're not gonna smudge off as easily. So let's try that. Okay, so I put it on pretty heavy. So let's compare here and let's see. Okay, so yeah, the dots are quite larger. But let's see the effect. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, that's actually not too bad. And here's Cinnabloom. The results are quite impressive. Skin tone test. Okay, now let's try Cinnabloom. So that was pretty good. We're gonna do some more tests here. We're gonna go out with the family and I'll show you guys some more tests. Let's do that. It's in the blue.
pair of springs. Cinnabloom. So starting off, we've got the Cinnabloom. There's the hairspray. Hmm. I realized they didn't have an ending, but in conclusion, I would say it's definitely worth a try. If you have a UV filter lying around, go ahead and get some hairspray. Most people have it lying around in their house. Try this, it works really well. The only biggest downside I thought uh, from the whole thing, if you go back and see some of the shots, whenever I got to moving the actual filter, you could actually see the visible smudges almost um, because they were bigger than the Cinebloom one. But once you have it on there, I was impressed with how well the results of the hairspray one was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to make and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Make sure to like this video, share it with a friend or something like that. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this and I'll see you guys in the next video.